Go. We would like to save our adventure. And start anew into this new chapter. A new dawn. I didn't realize I'd say new that many times, but anyway. This. This is. Eric! I get no more lines, then. <laughs> the silent protagonist. What? Robert, where... Isn't this where I met you, Robert? It's like that beach. The, the one beach. So that means... Could it be? No, it is! We're in the past! We made it back to our world! Thank God. Yeah! We made it, Robert! Hey, Yorval. Look! We made it home! Back to our world! So we did. We made it through. Back to this world. Yes! This is where I met Robert! Let's see. I think it was right here. This is where I found out Robert out cold. So that's what happened trip sent wait that trip through time sent me into the eastern forest Robert and I both reached your world far away from each other oh that's right there's a lot I don't understand like the whole concept of time travel will you please explain it to us in great detail but this isn't really the place to talk so let's go to Wigglytuff's guild and talk there Are well you we went to the an idiot yes <laughs> <laughs> Before we went to the future, we trained there and roomed there. It will be a, the perfect place. Let's go to Wiggly Tough Skills! Hold on. Will I be well received if I go to the guild? Absolutely <laughs> not, but let's do it anyway. Let's go to a bounty hunting club with one of the highest bounties there are! <laughs> I, actually, now three. Anyway, after all, I'm the one outlaw in this world. If I went to your guild, won't everyone be shocked? Absolutely, but we're doing it anyway. Don't you think they'd try to capture me? Er, come to think of it, you're right. What to do? Oh, I know! Let's disguise you as a Sceptile! <laughs> There's a good place, but it will involve going through Treasure Town. Should be a problem if we lie low and sneak through. You know, because Grovel's good at that. He knows dig. This is true. <laughs> so, like, he, he digs a tunnel all the way through under Treasure Town, and then eventually it just sinks into the hole. So that there's just a whole like, like sinkhole problem through Treasure Town, and then he pops up in Wigglytuff Skills. Oh shit! Oh my god! That's why that room in Marowak Dojo opens up. <laughs> it all makes sense. Lead the way. Okay, it's this way. Is the message okay, the appar apparently the Exploration Team Federation still finds us. <laughs> yeah, they didn't know that we went to the future. Special episode, here comes Team Charm has been unlocked. God damn it, Team Charm. Oh, I see Lopunny, Metacham, and Gardevoir. Yeah, let's save it immediately. Yeah, all the sexiest talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, none of the viewers know about the talk that we had, and I don't even think Rob, I mean, he does, but there. we told him. It, you I, weren't I, there. I've, I've heard the, the the argument for both Gardevoir and Labone, but why Metacham? <laughs> you don't do it right, she kicks your ass. 
I. Mm. <laughs> I mean, if you're into that kind of stuff. You don't do it right, you take shreds. <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, this cliff is known as Sharpedo Bluff. Sharpedo Bluff. Yes, Sharpedo Bluff. I think the name comes from the fact that the cliff itself, itself isn't shaped like a Pokemon named Sharpedo. You think or you know? <laughs> Possibly. As far as I can tell, nothing seems out of the ordinary. I couldn't feel that at all. <coughs> it's down here! I lived here before I joined the guild. Go ahead, go ahead, go on. You lived here, but you still aren't a hundred percent sure why it's called Sharpedo Bluff. <laughs> you live in its mouth. <laughs> I see. This is a hollow chamber in the face of the cliff. Wait, this is a hollow chamber? Whew! I'm glad no one's wrecked this. There's nothing here. Yeah. No what? No one could get past the defense that was my bush. <laughs> and nobody could have possibly stolen my two barrels. <laughs> and my That's... blocks. <laughs> That's Bruce for how little notice this place attracts. It may be better if we stay here for the time being. Agreed. Would you like to save your adventure? It's called Sharpedo's Bluff, but it's not popular enough for people to come here. Then why would it have its own name? Exactly. And it's at the end of Treasure Town. But Suppose. Robert, All right. I never expected you to be that very same Robert. All the teasing of a line. <laughs> that was so unnecessary. Groval, can you tell us more about that? Yes, Robert and I. We were jointly investigating the planet's paralysis. A Pokemon and a human. Pair it together? <gasps> it's like it's a Pokemon game or something! You started turning it like George Lopez there. Yeah, I don't know what was going on there. Like a Pokemon game or something? <laughs> <laughs> Edit this out, Rob. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Robert had, or has, a special ability like no other. We relied on that special ability to investigate the planet's paralysis. Now... My question is, could they actually understand one another? Probably. I mean, if he can understand the other Pokemon... It, my it, question is... Mystery I, Dungeon logic, I guess. Yeah. It played a vital part. I guess they still want to keep the silent protagonist role and have Robert just ignore everything that he's saying in terms of, like, responding to him. Mm. My special ability... Do you mean the dimension? You mean the dimension? <sighs> that thing, don't you? Exactly. But the dimensional scream has a drawback. Oh, I remember. Okay. Mm -hmm. The dimensional scream requires the presence of a trusted Pokemon partner. Without that partner, the ability cannot be triggered. A trusted. Partner. Oh no. <laughs> you know, <laughs> two times in a row. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we work together. The, the dimensional scream is set off by triggers tied to places where the time gears are hidden. Oh. We needed to find out where the time gears were in the past. We needed the dimensional scream to accomplish that. Wait a second! 
You said that there has to be a trusted partner to work for... To, to, <sighs> nearby for the dimensional screen to work. But the dimensional screen was being triggered not long after we met. Oh my mm. god, are you not putting two and two together, you mm. fucking moron! Your point? So much... <laughs> say it, Rob. I like to believe that he's actually reluctant to say it because he's jealous. <laughs> of what Rob and Kristoff no, have. No, he's trying to say it, but he keeps getting interrupted by by Robert's uh, groans. Like, uh, <laughs> don't say it. Make some bullshit up. You don't believe anything. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. First of all, I, I, ha I have to grit through this. <laughs> Doesn't that mm. show how much you two trust each other from the start? <laughs> I have to throw up. <laughs> I <don't do> it. <laughs> <laughs> Irk? You, you, yeah, Irk, when you put it like that. It's a little embarrassing. Only a little. Yeah, I'm embarrassed. To mm -hmm. In addition, Robert's developed amnesia. <laughs> also, I love the I love the face that he made in his portrait. He's like, mm -hmm. just rubbing it in, aren't you, game? I'll say it. Oh. <laughs> upon meeting you. Christoph, your partner had someone to turn to. Oh my god! <laughs> Perhaps Robert grew to trust you very quickly because of that. Dating! Start! Just need to fucking play the theme of Titanic right now. Uh, Shut up. Oh! Near, far, wherever! <laughs> There's another thing I don't understand. Is the dimensional scream triggered only in response to the time gears? I read that correctly the first time, I promise. What immense trust you two have for each other. Mm. Right. Oh! The opposite is also true. The dimensional scream is not triggered in places that aren't connected to time gears. That... Generally... <laughs> Hmm. What were you gonna say, PJ? It's just when he <laughs> says, "When he says, oh, the opposite dimensional is also screams, true." Yeah, dimensional screams are only triggered when in the presence of a time gear. The opposite is true, even though I said only. <laughs> so it's supposed to kind of be implied. They're oh, yeah, forget. Really? Are we not in the future anymore? Shut up. That's not how I remembered it. Listen, Robert, do you remember that time when it went off near Drowsy? And our first exploration? And then there were other times, too! Thanks for letting that's... me respond. Yeah, that's horrible. First of all, that's horrible um, parallel structure there, buddy. And, uh, yeah, you didn't let him speak at all. Uh, I, by, by buddy, I was talking about myself. When we went to... Wait. We went to places that seem to have nothing to do with the time gear, so maybe they're just still there. <laughs> maybe they're hidden, obviously. But even in places like that, the dimensional scream was triggered sometimes, wasn't it? Are you sure? No, I'm lying. Sorry, I couldn't understand you because you weren't running in place. No, I'm lying. <laughs> no, I'm the lion! Shut up! <laughs> Ryo just goes behind Shanks and kicks him into the fire. Yay! <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm having a mental breakdown. Mm. Are you sure? But that's never. Carvile <laughs> <laughs> just has his eyes crossed. Yeah. <laughs> 
Are you sure? But then you 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 is this normal for him? Like, I don't know. I have amnesia, asshole. <laughs> but that never happened in the future. <laughs> the dimensional scream was never triggered by places that had no ties to the time gears whatsoever. Well, if that's true, I don't know why it would work differently here. Perhaps things are just a, are just different in this world. Perhaps the nature of the dimensional scream is altered in the past. <sighs> so in the future, the dimensional scream doesn't work in places that have no connection to time gears? Oh my god, it's like we already knew that or something! I... Get my lines, Chris. Please. Oh. That explains it. Maybe that's why that time when we were in the future. Your dimensional scream. Use your dimensional scream to touch this frozen water. Who knows? You may see something. Oh, I understand. That's true. It's worth a try. Especially in that frozen water. It might give us clues about what's happening to us. Can't dawdle. Those save lives will catch up to us. Let's do this quickly. Robert touched the frozen spray of water. Well, Robert, can you see anything? Sensing anything. Maybe I couldn't en envision anything that time when we were in the future. Because we were in a place that wasn't tied to any time gears. Maybe that's why my dimensional scream failed to work. Maybe Groval is right about the future and the past being different. Or different enough to make my dimensional scream ability work differently. <sighs> anyway. Like I was saying, we were investigating the planet's paralysis. We used the dimensional screen ability to identify the locations of the time gears in New World when we were in the future. Oh. That's it! Here! A time gear is here. I see. Place the drought stone in Gradon's heart. That lifts the fog. Very, very well done. Good job, partner. Me. I'm partners with myself. That's what I tell myself every day. <laughs> <clears throat> After identifying the locations where the time gears would be in the past, we took the passage of time. That brought, that brought us from our world in... To, in... What? That brought us from <coughs> our world in your future to this world. Words are apparently not with us this week. Our world in your world into the future. <laughs> However... That's weird. Whoa. 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 whoa, whoa. Are, are you okay? No! Don't! Let go! This is a little longer! Come on! Hang on! N no! I can't! Hold on! Whee! Ow, my ears! <laughs> Not you, but the game! We got a turbulence? 
We encountered turbulence while we were traveling through time. <laughs> just traveling through time, and you hear an intercom over. I was like, "Hello, this is your captain speaking." <laughs> We've heard we some turbulence turbulence. in the passage of time. Please turn off all your cell phones. <laughs> and voice receipts back up to. It's the just gun connection. tank. It's just gun tank wearing a pilot hat. <laughs> As Robert and I became separated, for some reason Robert got amnesia and was turned into a Pokemon. Yeah, that's the thing that we're the trying to works. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It will just raise his stats. <laughs> oh my god! I can yeah, only... his special defense specifically. I can only guess that it had something to do with our accident while traveling in time. He's like, "Yep." I. I came from the future, and not just that, I came with the mission of preventing the planet's paralysis. Ch fucking peas! So many peas, bro. I don't know. They're it's, everywhere. It seems so outlandish. It doesn't feel real somehow. So, Robert, you may not remember any of this, but you were my closest friend. No. I'm worried about you when we, when we got separated. I'm glad to see you're safe. Oh. Your appearance may have changed. I know you have lost your memory. You're still you. And none of this alters the fact that you and me and my friends. Oh. Chris, I swear to God, <laughs> I will kill you in more ways than one. Oh, Robert. I'm glad to see you again. Okay, I'm not going to do it more time. Now, <clears throat> we have to decide on our course of action. Like I've told you before, I'm going to collect the time gears again. What are you going to do? Uh, I'm a little worried about how time stops in the region where its time gear is removed. But not the Pokemon, as PJ has noted before. But you're sure that it will only be temporary? That's right. As soon as the time gears are set up, uh, or set in place at Temporal Tower, time will be restored to its normal state everywhere. Oh, well then. We'll go too. We'll go with you, Grovile. Taking a time gear will badly affect the Pokemon that live in that area. But we have to prevent the planet's paralysis. Okay then, we'll go together. But the hour's late. We're all, all exhausted from all the running we've done. Apparently. We should rest up tonight. We'll leave in the morning. Even though we just woke up. Yeah. Know, on the beach. Would you like to save your adventure and do no gameplay whatsoever? Exactly. So we're going to continue or what? Uh, for a little bit longer. I know Pooja doesn't like the extended time, but... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right, I'm calling you out. Yeah, you, you... You expect her to get this far. Yeah, I was gonna say, she doesn't watch the series because of how long the episodes are, but yet, on part whatever this is, you're calling her out on it. Yeah. Thinking that she's going to persevere through it. Maybe she will. Maybe she will. If stop! So, if stop! I, stop! I, I, mm -hmm. Christoph isn't here. Oh, thank Maybe outside. <laughs> I heard that gun. I agree with you. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> you said gun. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that really gun. Dark. I heard. <laughs> that gun. Oh my god. <clears throat> it was really dark. What's the matter? Can't sleep. Yeah, just thinking. Him a dust noir. No, that's not it. Sure, finding out we were. Sure, finding out we were being deceived came as a real shock. But hearing your story earlier, Grova, it really drove it home. What dust noir said in the future really was true. And it made me realize that Robert did really. really did come from the future. And I was mulling over things like that. 
Look, Roval! Sunlight! It's sunrise! It <laughs> what is this? It's music! Also, that was the fastest sunrise I've ever seen. Whoops! <laughs> You're supposed to be getting better like that? Oh my god! <laughs> it's pretty, isn't it? Burst into flames! Oh my god! Yes. Maybe it's because we're so we're in the future so long. But I didn't think that a sunrise could ever feel so renewing. Well, that's the last thing you'll feel. He kicks him right over the. <laughs> Why is it what is it? to face <laughs> off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> and then shoots him with his gun <laughs> <laughs> that he <laughs> that he owns and it sets oh my god that's what bullet seed is for mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, he thought he was just spitting seeds out of his mouth no he takes out an AK blows <laughs> <laughs> seeds into him and he just fucking goes to town <laughs> We <clears throat> we take that for granted, and it's only natural. The things we take for granted, they're really the most essential things, and they're precious. They're not ground on. Yes, they are. All I've ever known is the future's world of darkness. Upon coming to this world, and seeing the sun for the first time, I wanted to go back. <laughs> <laughs> I like the moon better. <laughs> It was staggering. I like that Pokemon game better. Seeing it... It strengthened my resolve to turn history away from the future of darkness. There is one thing I wanted to ask of you, Kristoff. Shut the fuck up! I can never do that! <laughs> Flip to face. <laughs> off of the cliff. <laughs> it's about that time in the future. We were confronted, conf help confronted by the no. Alga. <laughs> it just a real girl vibe, just popped out for a second. Help me! <laughs> Possessed! <laughs> Apparently, we were in, no, in a no win situation. There was no hope. Except I called out the common sense. You shall be rid of you for all time. This is the end. For you. Okay, Robert and Grova, you can't give up. That was my line. Yeah. Seeing not to give up. But what can we possibly do in this bleak situation? Stuff we've already seen. We have to think. Not in this. Episode. I know. Just load a different. S Never mind. That's too mean. <laughs> The one all seemed lost. You refused to give up. Even I had given up. And I'm more important oh, than you. I love how the sunrise is just slowly going up over time. Also, Grovar, you're entirely wrong. I did give up on the inside. What compelled you? How did you manage... Script! <laughs> Stay so strong. Well, I wonder too. He's just oblivious to the game design. I really don't know. But maybe, just maybe, it was because Robert stood by me. You hear from down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's in the space for the first time. I did not. <laughs> wow. Just no. <laughs> He's having a nightmare. <laughs> Robert, <laughs> I 
Take a look at this. Ooh, thanks. It's a rock. <laughs> this what could it be? There's an odd pattern inscribed on it. I've never seen anything like it. This pattern is new to me. This is my relic fragment. Well, now it's mine. Hey, go on, give it back to me. What the face? <laughs> off the side of the <laughs> oh my god. I had this dream of one day solving the mystery behind this fragment. But I was such a coward. You still are. Shut up, I'm talking. But I, I couldn't work up the courage to go to the guild and apply as an apprentice. Wimp. It was then that I met Robert. You have to rely really on other people. Shut up and let me have my fucking moment, you goddamn asshole. Robert. No, you didn't let me have mine. Coming, coming from the same grill vial who said... He went to the future with a friend. <laughs> Said me. Well, okay. God. I'm putting my faith in you, Robert. Yes, I totally believe in you, Robert. You know, I thought we were just going to go all the times that he said that. Yeah, Robert was always there to cheer me up. And... Oh, we are. Okay. Oh! <laughs> 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 I, I, wasn't, I wasn't prepared, so I just did it. <laughs> Shix just collapses on the floor laughing. Yeah. No, no, I think the expression he has right now is perfect. I was surprised because I was expecting a different scene, so I was like, oh shit, gun! Ah, uh, then, ah! Oh! <laughs> 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 this is scary, but we need to be brave, and I need you, I need to face up to this. There's no, there's no giving up, bro. There is no scene that is sacred anymore. It all gave me courage. With Robert, I felt like I could overcome any challenge. That's how I came to feel... That's how I came to feel over time. That is a very weird sentence. Maybe that's why I was able to keep going without giving up. <laughs> oh, all over my relic fragment! God damn it, you've been vomiting this whole time that I was speaking! Jesus Christ, what did you eat? <laughs> now it's known as the item known as Black Sludge. Oh my god. I think I understand what you're saying. Yes, Robert has a special quality that makes other fe others feel that way. <laughs> Make others feel. Good lord. Get in those grabby hands. <laughs> the same way that I care for Robert as a friend. As a friend! <laughs> you, Christoph, also feel that same way about Robert. He's mine! <laughs> Foot to face. Off of the cliff. <laughs> Robert is lucky <laughs> to be with a friend like you. I think you need a couple of barf bags because you just can't hold any of that in. <laughs> I use this trubbish. <laughs> well, it's morning. It's been morning, you idiot. Shut the fuck up. I'm from a future where there is no morning. Give me a break. <laughs> 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 I, I'm lucky I know what the word morning means. We should be leaving soon. Yes. Not you. Fuck the face. If you like to save your adventure. Alright, it's agreed that we cl will collect all of the time gears. First, we have to decide which time gear we should target. Let's check the wonder map! It's just black. Ooh, these things reset. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I like that. I like that. Uh, from here. 
The underground lake would be the closest, I guess. Um, How about tree, tree, tree forest shroud? <laughs> tree forest shroud. shroud. That's where I got my first time gear the last time. Where's that? Here. A convenient excuse to actually give you some gameplay. It's a little far from here, but... No, don't, don't, you, don't you like this visual novel? There is no... There's no one like Uxi guarding that time gear. What? That's a weird sentence. There's a lot of weird sentences in this game. Oh, great! If we were able to fight someone over a time gear, that would attract attention. But that won't be a concern here, right? Looks over at the... the, the, the fake Groudon. Yeah, that's standing right next to them. <laughs> yeah. You fuck. Exactly. That's it, then. No other options. That's where we're going. Onward to Tree Shroud Forest. Would you like to save your adventure? This is it. Stand just the Tree Shroud Forest. What is it, Groval? The atmosphere somehow feels different than last time. No, I must be imagining it. Go in when you're ready. Okay, so this is the part of the game it hits where let's hope that your survival skills are a little better because you won't be accessing Treasure Town anywhere near Treasure Town or the guild for a little while. You're just going to be teleported from time gear location to time gear location. Actually. Am I wrong about that? You're wrong about that. In in, explore, in the first generation of these Explorer games, there's a moment like that, but this is the only area oh, okay. that you have to go through and then you have access again. So... Okay. So, as we get ready for this dungeon, I'm going to call it an episode. So, in, yep. the, ne in the next episode, we're going to be traveling through Tree Shroud Forest to get the first time gear. Yep. Oh boy, what are we looking at? Uh, a lot. See you oh, guys cool. next time.